Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to get right into reviewing the 445E Husqvarna X Torque. This one is a 10 pound, and um, I'm going to tell you why I like it. Also, we're, also, we got the Husqvarna safety helmet, which I really like. And um, this has snap down earphones and a, and a screen, and I like that also. Anyway, let's get right to it. The first thing I want to show you is the Husqvarna helmet. I'm really happy with this. It has a metal screen on the front. It's got, it flips down. It's, it has a visor and it flips down really nice. Flip, you know, when you're out in the field, it flips up and down really easy. And then on the sides, you have these earphones that also snap down on your ears. And overall, this is a really nice helmet. I'm very happy with it. Next, let's look, let's take a detailed look of the chainsaw. Right off the bat, you have your pull choke right here. You pull it up and set it right there for starting. And then it's, it's really easy to push back down. So you pull it out, pull it up, and then set it right there. And then push it down. That's your choke. Over here to this side, you have your pull start. Really nice, very, very ergonomic. And then right next to it, you have your, this little push ball right here. That's your primer, your pump primer. And you pump that six times and then you choke it and then you can get it started. Right below that on the, on right below the pull start is your fuel filler. Now this has the really nice flip up caps for, so you flip it up, undo it, and then fill in your gas. I really, I, I like these little flip caps. They're, uh, keeps you from, they're, they're nice. Moving over to the front of the saw, you have another flip top. That's for your chain oil. And it's, uh, there's for your chain oil right there. Do you have some in there? But I need to put some more in. Boy, it uses a lot of chain oil. Love these little flip top things. Moving to the top of the saw, you have your chain brake. And to activate it, you push it forward. That, that keeps the chain from moving. And then to deactivate it, pull it towards you. So if you want the chain to move, pull it towards you. And if you want it to stay shut, push it forward. And it's a nice guard for your hand also. Moving over here to the top of the machine, you'll see you have, you have two clips here. And then if you turn it around, you have another clip on this outside, on this other side. So in order to get to the air filter, you need to, you need to pop these clips off. Pop those two clips. Then pop this clip on the other side. And then you can pull the cover off. Now underneath the cover, you, and you got your spark plug. And that's pretty much all you need to worry about underneath. But you should clean out your air filter once in a while. This one's only been used one time, so it doesn't need to be cleaned just yet, but I will definitely be cleaning that and changing that. And that's what's underneath. Let's put this cap back on. Pretty easy, snaps on. You just push the buttons. There we go. And that's pretty much the details of it. Now let's take a look at the chain. This has an X-Force bar. This is an 18 inch bar. Now, this has just one, one nut on the side for removing the bar. And when you take this nut off, this whole, this whole plate will come off and you can remove your bar. And also right here, it has a screw tensioning for tensioning your chain. And I need, I'm gonna take this chain off today and put a new one on. The next thing I'm gonna do here is show you how I change the blade. And on this particular chainsaw, so right here you can see it only has one nut right there. Take that off. And there you can see the chain right there. 
You know, the best way is to just loosen the chain off of the bar. Then you can pull your bar up and out. And it's a good, it's a good idea at this point to clean all inside, inside your, um, get all the sawdust out of there so you can start it fresh. And this blade, I, will, I won't throw this blade away. I'll resharpen this blade. And then you just pull that out. So you can see it's a little grimy in there. So I take this little blue brush and I'll clean, I'll clean all that stuff out of there. And I'll also get a vacuum. I have this little Milwaukee vacuum, portable vacuum. And I'll use this to vacuum out around it with a screwdriver knocking the stuff loose. I will then, I'll, I'll then take a rag. And just clean that up. Once that's all cleaned up, and I'll bring in the bar. And on the bar, I'll do the same thing. I'll use the end of the tool and I'll actually clean out the inside of this. And this one's not very too bad, but sometimes they get really gunked up and it makes it hard for the, hard for the chain to move. So I'll clean the bar off. Okay, once the bar is all nice and clean, I can get out the new, this is a new Husqvarna high performance 18 inch blade, 3 16 file size it says, pitch, drive length 72. Anyway, this is supposed to be a good blade, so let's go ahead and get this put on. Now you can see behind the, behind the cover, I didn't clean that out, but I need to clean that out. So let's get that cleaned up first. So first up, slide your bar in nice and easy. Set that right there. Then we get our new chain out. Get the chain all stretched out. Put it in the bar. Now we put our lid back on. Keep, I'd like to keep tension on the bar. That's a lot better. Now tighten that down. Okay. That's nice. Okay, now you have a nice new chain on. It's adjusted. You're, um, you've cleaned out inside. Now we're gonna put some chain oil in it. Right here on the front of the machine is where you put the chain oil. And we will put some chain oil in there. And that's good right there, nice and full. Put your cap back on. Nice and tight, flip it down and then. Wipe off your excess oil. Now she's ready to go, we've got We've got bar oil, we put a new chain on. We need to fill up the gas, but I don't like to do it down in my shop because of my pellet stove. I'll do to fill up the gas outside. But she's ready to go, all cleaned up and ready to go. Let's give her a try. It's a good looking machine. It's a uh, safety orange, so that's kind of nice. You won't lose it when you drop it in the snow. And I like the pull start, the choke. I haven't looked at that air cleaner yet. 
I'll look at that tomorrow. But it looks like it has two snaps and it just pulls off. But it's a nice looking machine. It came fully assembled. I don't know if that was because someone used it already, but I didn't have any trouble with it. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing up to the garage and put some gas in it. So here I am, I go outside and so I'm, I basically bought this gas can just for this so that I could make sure and mix one gallon to one, to, it's a two stroke motor so you got to mix the oil and I didn't want to make a mistake so I just got a one gallon can and a special uh, oil filler and yeah, fill it up. So I put the chain oil in and then I shake up this gas can with this oil and I fill it up with gas. And off to the woods I go. I I had eyeballed this tree up on my hill a while back, and, and um, I've got a couple trees up there that are are already falling down. They're already on the ground, and I I've been wanting to deal with them. So I just decided today is the day I'm going to go up there and deal with this tree. And actually, there's a few trees I'm going to deal with in the next couple of days up there. And just stack them up and let them let them let them dry for next season. Um, yeah, you can see one off to the right up there, but this is the one right here. This one laying down with the snow on it. That's the one I'm gonna get today. And uh, it's actually up almost to the top of the mountain where where my property line is. My property line's actually. A little further up but but this this was uh this was right there in my property actually you can see a one one or two above there i'm gonna i'm gonna get those tomorrow but i you know i fired this thing up it was a little it was a little slow to get it started because you know basically it's cold and crap outside it's probably 39 degrees right now and um the it took it took probably 10, 10 pulls to get it going, um, but once it got warmed up, it just sat there and idled perfectly. And you know, I would set it on the ground running, and it, it never died. It stayed. It, it did really well. So right here, this this tree's about I don't know, maybe 60, 60 feet long, and it's been laying on the ground for a little while. So I, I basically just cut it up and, uh, it was a good test for this saw. I just cut the whole thing up into small pieces and you gotta love a, a brand new chainsaw blade, one that hasn't hit anything bad. And I mean, it cut through this stuff like butter. The only thing I don't like about cutting trees that are already down low on the ground is I don't like bending over like that. It's, um, I've got a bad back, so I, I try to stand as upright as possible when I'm cutting logs, so I, I'd almost rather it was up higher, but you need, you need to set up a little stand to get them up a little higher. But yeah, I cut this whole, this, it's not a very big tree, but I get it all cut up and I decided that was a, a good test for the saw today. It's kind of towards the end of the day, so I'm just going to stack these up. That was the last little tip of the tree. It's crazy when I look around up here on my mountain, I, there's quite a few trees that I need to take care of. so. It's kind of good that I'm getting a start on this, and it and it keeps me, it keeps you out of trouble. So I'm gonna just stack these between these two trees, and just let them, uh, let them age for a little while, and then when I get, I ordered a new uh, splitter, so at some point, I'll come up here and split these. Or I'll bring them down with a sled. I don't know. Um, 
it's a little bit steep going up to this section of my mountain, the hill. I could get up there with a little tractor though. But yeah, I just stacked this whole thing up here. And the chainsaw worked really well. I was really impressed with it. I, you know, of course, this is the only the first time using it. It did come with a two year warranty. And um, thanks for watching Outlaw Woodworking. You know, um, I'm really happy with this Husqvarna 445. I can't really give a, a super good review because I've only used it this one time and I cut, I basically chopped one tree and there's a bunch of pieces. And, uh, but it ran really good. It started up really nice. And, and you gotta remember, I, I started it up in the snow, sitting in the snow, and um, it was cold out. And it still started up and it ran really good. It was a little, little cold blooded when I first started it, but it got, it got moving and the blade, the blade was really nice. There's nothing like a brand new blade on a chainsaw. You know, the weight of this thing, I thought it said 10 pounds um, when I bought it. Okay, technical data, engine spark, weight. Yeah, it says 10 pounds. I guess that's right. I must be getting old. It, feel, it started to feel heavy out there, but maybe that's because it's full of gas and oil. But it ran really good. And even the, I ordered this Husqvarna helmet, and this was actually pretty nice. I was, uh, I was surprised that, that, I, that I liked it. Um, what's cool is this, this thing stays up, flips down, it's pretty, I mean, you gotta be careful not to bend this metal screen. But these things, the earphones, they snap right down. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't help my jaw or my chin when I slipped and fell and hit the rock. <laughs> but, but otherwise, it, it, uh, it did a good job. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. There's a lot of videos on uh, this 445 about maintenance and all that stuff, so I won't I won't bore you with that. Um, I really I like all the I like the gas caps, the oil caps, the pull start was nice. It um, yeah the choke worked pretty good. The little pump, it, yeah everything about this I like. So we'll have to see. You know, I live up here in the mountains, so I burn a lot of firewood. And I just ordered a, um, I just ordered a wood splitter. So I'm going to be splitting a lot of wood this winter and this spring for next year. Um, so we'll we'll put it through the test and see how it works. And uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.